Okay, just for your information, I'm not good at tutorials, so this is the best I could do. Anyways, enjoy the video. Good day, mates. Tepa Jackie here. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to make a FPS in a nutshell uh, add-on. So first things first, you want to use like Half-Life 1, Counter-Strike 1.6, or anything that uses like um. I don't remember what the what what the engine's called. Oh, it's the Quake One engine. <laughs> but anyways, you want to use anything that uses um the <clears throat> Half Life One engine. I'll just call it that for now. When you're looking for something, you want to make sure that there's no Chrome on it. Otherwise. You'll have a hard time with it because I'll, I'll here. Okay, hang on, hang on. With a uh, Chrome, it's just a single texture, but it's really, really small. I mean, well, the texture is big, but the bones of it is really tiny. So you, if you just turn off Chrome, you'll just get like a black hand or something. Like uh, this hand is all chrome and stuff. It's got that chrome effect on it. If you turn it off, you just get this black hand. So you want to get one that doesn't have the chrome on it. So I'll use uh, anything that has, oh god, anything that is a uh, Counter Strike 1.6 or Condition Zero because they have great things like this one, for example. Uh, give credit to these people. Give me a second. Here, here's the credits of these people who made these. So there it is. I'm not going to be adding this to the add-ons list to FPS in a nutshell because I can't be bothered. So, yeah. let's go ahead and download it. There's PUBG, best game, would agree. Don't have it, but I wish I did. Now, we go ahead and put this in. Extract it. There it is. Go ahead and delete that because I don't need it anymore. So we have the models and the sounds. Now, you don't really need uh, Jed's model viewer unless you want to change any of the textures, but I'm not going to, so we're going to go ahead and get No Oasis now, so No Oasis, this is the wrong thing, uh, 3D, I think it's this, yeah, here it is, you want to get the No Oasis model thing. I have no clue where where the download is. Hang on, <laughs> I'm so sorry about this. But you want to get an Oasis. I think it was like the top bit or something. Yeah, maybe it's this one. I'm not sure. Yeah, here it is. Yeah, this is it. Midgets. I'm getting very distracted right now but anyways here's the noises and uh, you want to get this to extract these models into the game so that's not the right thing where is it noises now we're going to go ahead and open that up oh thank god I didn't go on the other side so I'll go ahead and up, up, blah, blah, blah. open that up right now here it is now you think you, this is weird in a way unless you know how games work but right now we're breaking the fourth wall we have our animation timeline at the bottom here such and such and at the top right corner excuse me in the top right corner we have our little how do I do this again in the hang on 
In the top right corner, we have our animation thingy-me-jiggy. What that means is like what the what the number is. Hang on. So if I set it to like here, that's when the that this number at the here, not the not the dot or eighteen or thing, just the twelve, just that. We want that for when it fires and when it continues on to there to twenty five. That's that's how you put the animation in. And you do that with every animation. It has like events like when the magazine or clip or whatever this, whatever you want to call that. Whenever that comes out, you want to play an event at this time. So when that's out, grabs a new one. Don't really need to get a sound for that, but if you want to, you can. He pops in the new magazine. You put the sound effect at that point. Oh, he taps it as well. Well, we're gonna have to get a couple of sound effects for that. But anyways, he taps it in, and then that might be another sound effect. But I don't want to put more in. Okay, yeah, he's going all in. But you know, that's uh, yeah. It at each time there's a event that you want to put a sound effect on to make it more uh better for the mod. Anyways, so. Now that we have our model, I'm going to go ahead and export it. So this right here, this is what you want to do. You want to set, here, let me just do that again real quick. Export, yes. So right here, what you want to do, you want to change M, the dot .obg, obj to quite to md2. And like anywhere like uh, md3 would work, but I prefer MD2 because you get all the textures in one, which is nice. And then you want to go PCX, PSX. I don't know how to say what well, you want to want me to pronounce that, but you want to go with those and you click export. When it says export complete, you don't need to use Noasis anymore. And you can put that aside now. Or naturally, no, no, no. You still need that. Oh my goodness, I'm having a bad time trying to d do a tutorial. Alright, now that we have our little thingy bajiggy, we don't really need much of this anymore, but we need a uh, Doom thing. We need Slade. And, uh, yeah. Here's all the scripts that I have done for FPS in a nutshell. You know, stuff like that. So, we're gonna go ahead and uh, start with this. So, first... We uh, go ahead, just make a little piggy 3 or the mod. You want to click the top, this little, this one right here. You want to click that. And then you want to click this. This will make a new little, or it's, it makes a new dic direct directory. I don't know how to say it. But you know, you want to click that. And then, with this, just you need to put you need to put in a Pacific name. If you put anything else, it would not work. So you want to put models in that one. And then when you go into models, you want to put you can put whatever you want in it, like uh, junk. Or uh, Tabijaki, I don't know. Maybe Mega is the best Doom mod reviewer. I don't know. <laughs> uh, but anyways, you want to put in like I don't know. Just put. I'll just put weapons for now. And then after that, you put. Well, you don't have to put another one. You can just put it in there if you want to. But I'm going to put a second one in. I'm just gonna call it custom done so now that we're done with that you want to click this right here the is uh, the import files one oh you don't don't worry about that just just don't worry about it and you want to go to your model 
which is right here. Which is right here. And when you're here, you have to select two things. Not the HL text, whatever it is. You want to select the skin page and the <clears throat> whatever it says here to that. Oh shoot, I should have said this before. Crap, I'm so sorry. Um, don't pick the W or the P. You want to pick the V one because you will not get the view model. You'll get like uh, the pickup weapon and I don't use those. But if you want to make them, yeah, try and figure that out yourself because I'm not going to tell you. Anyways, we have our models in. Our two gorgeous models I mean well not models but we have our texture and our model in and the the hand well, I mean not the hand the uh, texture has a quite two palette on it which is extremely annoying but we can customize it if we want to to have like a different thingy on it I don't know I don't think I can do it I don't think I can do it but you know that's what we could do. So, now that we have our model in, we have to make... There we go. You want to make this. So, copy that name. And then you want to go back to here. Now, so you want to click this. is the new entity. And you put in the name that you just put in. There you go. There's, a, there's this. You have to click view as text and you'll get this. It may look like nothing at first, but yeah, it, it'll be it's something, okay? It'll be something. So, after that, you want to, uh, I'll leave it in the description below on what you need to put in here. Just gotta resize that. like a lot all right so now now that we have this this is our code and sheet we I want to go I'm gonna go back here so I can get the here it is so here is our script that I'm going to copy and paste oh I forgot it was over here I'll put it on a notepad in case I forget so as long as I have that there then I won't forget it. so anyways we have our thing but we don't have the script for it yet, but we will have a script for it soon. This will be the animation file. So, what I normally, what I did at first was a terrible idea. But, um, when I was making the game, like, continuously making the mod or something, or I don't know. Um, I added new write names to it and that made a big problem so <laughs> yeah we have that problem but that doesn't matter so you know I'm gonna go down all the way over here to find the biggest one uh that'll be the that's the biggest one right here now what I would what I did is that oh god what did I do I have this big sheet that has all these um little numbers on them that's the animation number that I showed you before if you remember I will reshow it to you soon but you know that's that and I'll put this in the description below again so I'll have to copy and paste it again. Okay. Anyways, continuing on. So, what we have here is the sheet, the model sheet for the Beretta from FPS in a nutshell. It's like uh, the starting pistol for the first map. I'll quickly show it to you. I'm talking about this gun right here. The starting pistol. Anyways, now, now that that's out of the way, we have, um, that code 
all the all the animation files on here except for this bottom bit that's that's completely different so I'm gonna go ahead and remove all this garbage because we don't need that because it will screw up the animation and probably end up with something else I would play it I would see what it is but nah I don't feel like it and there it is So, now we have that. You want to keep half of these. I mean, yeah. You want to keep half of these um, codes in because we will need those. You need to. Go, you want to go to your models file again. And, yeah, there it is. So, right now, I am at a... Oh, God, what did I do? I am at... the folder with my gun and stuff in it right now so right here I want to copy this onto here so I'm gonna cop I'm gonna type that in and that 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 we want to keep this okay I mean yeah we w we want that it, wherever you put yours, remember it, and then just put the thing in. So, yeah. Anyways, next, we want this. What the? Yes. Oh, crap, I messed something up. Anyways, uh, blah, 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 how do you get rid of this? Go ahead and, you know, get that name. Let me get it easier, because I know how to do stuff. Ah, uh, sorry. Anyways. Go back here. Okay, so we're back here. How did it get shorter? So now that we're back here, we put in the model name, which is right there. And I'll go ahead and save it because I can. Now, now that we have all that, we go ahead and we can put our own name in. I'm going to call it Custom Gun Tutorial for people that want more I don't know I'll just call it that for now but you know you can call it whatever you want so anyways now that we're done with that oh sorry one thing that can go away now so we go back to Noasis which is right here we will get the animations with this number up here and this timeline down here to show us what is going on. So I'll go ahead and set up this little thingy. No. Oh, what the heck? There we go. All right, now then, I'll go ahead and uh, get all the numbers for this because none of you don't want to watch me do it. So yeah. Okay, I'm done with that now. So, I have my script. Oh god. What happened? Why is that doing that? Alright, now I have my animation. And I have individual lines here. That tell me what, what animation, what number does what. Now, when you're making these, if you want to use the, this little thingy here then you can I guess or if you want to use like a notepad or just write it down on saying what number it is and what event it will do then you can do that too but I don't use the fire thing or the idel because I already know what that is because when it's a when the sprite is a it will stay as a but when it hits B and reaches all the way down here, that's the firing animation. But I already know all that, so I don't need those two. But if you still want to put those in, you can. So what you do is you put two, uh, is it forward? Or, I don't care what kind of forward or backward it is. Just put a, this slash in, 
I don't know what the other slash does. I don't think it does anything. Yeah, don't don't it doesn't do anything. But the one next to the shift button, I guess. Like that makes sense, I guess. But anyways, you put those two in and you can put whatever you want, stuff like that. But if you just put one, it doesn't do anything. I'm pretty sure you can do this. No, you can't, never mind. Oh no, it's like that. Yeah, if you do that, it just it get rid of everything, so don't do that. But anyways, we got that. We have my code of animation. And I'll go ahead and save that. So, there it is. Now, we are going to add in the decoration file, which is the gun uh, doing stuff, you know. So, in this, you want to put decorate. Alright. And after that, you have this. I'll put another code in the description below. Just gotta find the. Here it is. So here's the pistol animation that I'm going to use. Okay, so now that we have our code, oh no, I got rid of the wrong code, wrong thing. But anyways, we have our code. So we have our thingy right here. We want to change a couple of things from it, so. First, we want to change the get rid of that. We want to change the name to the one we call it our model. So we put that in. And the second thing is, I didn't put it in yet, but because I just remembered it, we got to put in a second thing right here that says fired bullets, pistol, weapon. So we put that in, there it is. Now that right there, this is our ammunition for the gun. We can put as many as we want and we have to remember the ammunition. I spelled that wrong, but it doesn't matter. So. Now then, we have that. So what we do from there, we have to change a couple of things. So we can change how many am ammo is going to be in here, just we have to change these two the exact same number, otherwise we screw everything up. I'm going to change mine to 18, and that'll be it. I'm going to copy this and paste it on everything that says fired bullet pistol weapon. Don't change pistol reserve ammo to anything, it will break everything. So. Now, because I changed my number here to 18, I have to change another number to 18 as well, which is this. And that's all I have to do. <laughs> so, now that we have that, we all have all our scripts and everything, all of the glory. We have to go. I'm gonna go back to FPS in a um, in nutshell, whatever it is, and I'm gonna to go to the sound info file. You can add your own sounds in, and I'll tell you how to do that soon. So we have our. I'm gonna go and take maybe the Desert Eagle sound, but I have to show you how to add the sounds in first. So I can't do that. <laughs> So, what you want to do, make another script file. You want to make a couple of things. 
Give me a second. Anyways, you want to put S N D I N F O. Press OK. Go to the thing. Now you want to view it as a text again. And you want to put, you can put anything in, I guess, but, you know, we don't have any sounds yet, so we can't do anything with that yet. So, what you want to do is you want to make a new dictionary, and you want to call it sounds. I had a lot of problems with calling it sounds, because I forgot everything. So, now then. I'm gonna go ahead and insert a couple of sounds in. Okay, I cannot. I'm gonna have to make this private. <laughs> but I'm going to insert some sound effects that I have. So I added in the sounds. Anyways, this will be. Okay, so I have a lot of different sounds in here. Now that I have all these, I'm going to. Ch I have to change these sounds to something that can work. Okay, I'm gonna delete this one because I don't need it. So. This right here will be my firing noise, so I'm gonna call it a. I'm just gonna call it that for now. These will be my reloading sounds. So I'll change that to that. Oh, by the way, um, to do the the number thing, I'll just put it all the way up here. There we go. So when you do this, how to do this number? Actually, it'll tell you how to do it. So I don't really have to tell you. But people are lazy, so you put A. Actually, you don't put that there. You put um, the at symbol there, and it will do it. Anyways, so that will be my reloading symbol. That'll be my clock sound. And that'll be it. So, now that I know my sounds, I'm going to go to SND info, view as a text. I'm going to have custom weapon, and I'm going to remember that. Fire, AA1, that will be my shooting sound. So, what you do here is you put in any name, anything in here, and then I just put that load out so then uh, after you put the the name of it you put the name of the sound file in into the exact same I mean not in the exact same place you do a space and then you put the name of it there and that's how you do the sounds in and there we go those are my sounds that I'll be using for my weapon Again, if you want to use the this thing, you can, but I don't need to because it says it it says, it tells me what I have right here. So it depends on what you call your sounds. But anyways, back to the decoration file. We have all our sounds. I mean, we don't have all sounds. We have our script. We have our animation. We have our sounds. That's pretty much it. We need. But we have one more thing that we need to add in, and I have no, I don't think I have to censor it. But uh, we need to add in another thing that I forgot to add in again because I'm stupid. I'll add this to the description so you don't have to worry about this part at all. Okay, now then, we have that so because of this we will be able to select our weapon at any time now then we can make our 
weapon are animations and stuff like that. So remember this. You want to use this will be the sprite name. So this right here. There's a train outside. That's nice. Anyways, you want to use you see this? That's exactly the same as this list. So wherever where it says that we where where blah, blah, where it says this you want to use the exact same thing on here oh I forgot to tell you this um, this will be how your gun is fired so this is the spread that right there is how many bullets are going to be shot out this is how much damage it will till so I'll do eight so yeah anyways now that that's out of the way we can do our animation so now we'll go ahead and put that in so we have B C D a b c b c d a b c b c d a b c oh crap no. so there it is now the two that i'm adding in is how fast the weapon's gonna go if it's zero then it will not play an animation so that will tell you what these are Oh, also TNT one is a a non-existing image. So, yeah. All right. Now that we have that out of the way, oh yeah, forgot. Keep forgetting things. We have this. We want to change this to the custom sound that we have. I'm gonna change it to custom fire one because that's the sound I want. I can already. I can already feel the madness that I'm going to, I mean not madness, the uh, horrible experience I'm going to have with the uh, people modding, but I don't care. <laughs> so we have this list to deal with, oh, I forgot to say that, shoot, um, if you have any like blank things that you don't use, you can just get rid of them, you don't need them. So it's A to X, all right? So, yeah. What I would do is I would get the snipping tool and snip that so I can remember what I have. But if you have a better way on doing it, you can do your way, I don't care. But that's how I do it. So, now that I have that, I can go I can go ahead and do this. So, this all looks complex and stuff, but, you know, it'd be worth it if you want to get the weapon in the game. So, don't worry about any of this. Alright, don't, don't worry about it. Where it says reload, which is also reload, but anyways, uh, you want to put in your thingy, and then... Put it all the way until an event happens, and then put the. There's a different way you can do this. You can do it like you can keep going, and stuff like that, or you can put it in like a. Differently. Hang on. What am I doing? I'm having. My head's just not working today. So, anyways. <laughs> okay, sorry about that. <laughs> Alright, so there it is. There's my script. Now I wanna I'm gonna put TNT1 A0 and then A Don't know what this is. Line P play weapon sound. No spaces space bracket comma comma bracket and inside this I'm going to put the sound effect in it. And I'm going to copy that into every hole that has the event, except the end and the very first thing. So, going back to here, 
And I'm going to take all this and I'm going to put them in there. So I'm going to do the same thing again with my, what's it called, my snippy. And I'm going to go ahead and put that there. So there's my code. Now I'm going to put all the sounds in. There it is. Now, there's one more step that I didn't say yet because of reasons. It wasn't that important and stuff like that, but you know, if you want to use it, you can. But there is the pistol reserve ammo that I didn't touch. And I didn't touch it for a reason because it was like the one thing that I didn't really care about. Oh no. I forgot something. Uh, yeah, make sure you change the top bit too. I need I need to, I am not good at this. I I just I'm just not. I'm not going to do this all again because I, I just can't do it. I just can't. But anyways, you want to put that in. And if you have if you want to use a different ammo, like if it's a shotgun, assault rifle, uh, SMG, a rifle, you can change it to any of these. Again, I'll put the names in the description below if you want to use them, but I'm not going to use them because it's just a pistol. If you if you're going to make like an admin gun, I don't care, you can do that, but you can't do it in servers very well, I guess, because you know, you need the server to have the you need the server to have it and you know, stuff like that. But there's my weapon script. I am done with that now. So I have all my files, my script, my coding, my sounds, my model animation, my sound effects, my models, and stuff like that. I have everything here. So now I just load up the game. That's all I have to do now. And that will be it. I don't know if I should put the weapon in mod in the game itself, but I don't know. So now, now that we're in the game, I put the, no, that was the wrong button. I'll put the code in to put, get the guns, and here it is. I'm missing something. Hang on, what? There was a sound, there was meant to be playing some sounds there, but I missed something. Hang on. Oh, it's slide er, not slide. Of course. Okay. Well, yeah, that was my first attempt. Yeah, you won't get this on the first try, but you know. So yeah, people make people can make mistakes when making these, like me, for example, because I made a mistake. So, now that I fix the mistake, it should work as I want it to. Which is reload fast and shoot fast. Again, I will show you the person who made this, the credits right there. All of it. Paid by its respectful owners. Not by me. So, you know, don't get the wrong idea. There's the sound that I wanted. Well, it works, but there's another thing I want to add in. Because, you know, pe people might need it. So, oh, it's a, oh, no, it's not. So, anyways, there is a code. There's like a one line that is um, plus no auto fire. If you want to make your gun like uh, the one in uh, Half-Life 2, the 9mm pistol. I'm going to do that with mine, and then I'm going to put a weapon ready in there. If you don't have a plus no auto fire, then it's going to just be a mess. And after that, I'm going to put another line that has a refire, and that's it. That's all I have. That's all I need to put in. 
Now then, we have all that. We have all this. Why? Actually, no. That's that's a little too far. But we have everything we need now, and it should work as I want it to. And so the tutorial, so that I can finish this tutorial with everything. Oh my goodness. I press the wrong button again. And here it is. Now, there's a thing in this mod that it has these sleeves here. Because I didn't edit the texture, it doesn't have the sleeves on it. But, you can add them in by another, by a couple of ways. You can go get the skin, you can export that by, hang on, oh my goodness, what's going on? So, so after right clicking on it, you go to graphic and you export as, as PNG. You put it anywhere you want to, and then you get the 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 sleeve over here, which is here. That you export this as well, and then you put that on that. Or if you ha if you're doing like Counter Strike 1.6 or like a different weapon or something that doesn't have that that the same arm is it then you know you, you can't do it unless you're really good at texturing stuff but anyways that's all I have to say for now um, go ahead and make your own weapons I will put the mod in the description all the stuff you need in the description as well and um, see you guys next time bye <sighs>